Hi guys and girls and welcome to another episode of Steve's Somewhat Seamless Slot. This time round, we're going to be setting you guys and girls up by doing some basing. And we're going to go for parched earth. Get a really rugged effect. Looks like the earth's dry. Get some stones on there. As you can see from these example photos, this is what we want to achieve. Pretty simple, pretty easy, straightforward. Dry brushing, so lots of tickling involved. Enough said, let's crack straight into it. So, parched earth bases. Let's go straight into it. Um, what you want to do as well, um, if you've got a bigger base size, it's worth putting some uh, some shale, uh, some slate, smash slate in. You can see some bits that you get picking up off the road, uh, make sure they're nice and clean. You want bits with, uh, you know, Bit, bit of character in them. Uh, for too flat, for example, too flat, they're really not gonna have much uh, when we weather them up, etc. Uh, they're not gonna be doing much when we apply some paint to them. Uh, so you wanna get some stones, with a bit of character, just a few notches in. Um, as you can see on this dread, got some nice stones on the base there. Um, you know, good carbon marks in them, etc. Break marks, uh, natural break marks. So we're gonna when we uh, uh, paint those up and shade them up, uh, they're really gonna stand out. They're not gonna look too flat. So what you want to do is get some of those first, and then bond them onto your base. Uh, and when you're ready, and let them dry off and cure off, you're ready to go and start basing up. So I've got my base ready. All I've done here is I've applied a layer, just the base of it. Dumbbell brown. I cure off, and then what we do is we're ready to go on to applying the texture paint, technical texture paint. In this case, this is a grill and earth. Now, there's two ways of applying this either with a spatula, which allows you to get in tight to details, etc. If there's a model already based on there without getting uh, this stuff all the way up your nicely new painted model, or just a flat brush. Uh, I'm just going to be using a flat brush and all I'm going to be doing is just getting plenty on there. Covering all that area and then let it dry. Now you can use a heat source to dry it, just be careful. Too much heat can dry too quick and then um, the crackle loosens itself. And make sure we have plenty on here, right the way to the rim. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that there's, there's plenty of peaks in there. You don't want it too flat, you want peaked all the way across. So stipple it up. Let that dry. Now dry is here, it gives a lovely, lovely texture. Crackle effect. What we're going to do next is we're going to shadow that in. Uh, we're going to use our Grox Earth Shade a natural shade and colour, got brown textures in there, literally we're just going to apply that across the face and let it dry. Right. So that's the Agrax Earth shade dry. What we're now going to do is start dry brushing. Lots of tickling. Um, right, pretty straightforward. Starting off, Zandri dust. I'm um, using a small dry brush. And what we're going to do is each layer that we're applying with these paints here, uh, one after the other, uh, we're just going to make it consecutively lighter as we apply it. So literally, there's no art to this. Just get the dry brush on. You have to take a couple of passes to build it up. Do that. What you don't want to do is clump it on in a thick layer because that'll just spoil the effect. Next dry brushing layer, we're going to use same brush again. This time, Carrick Stone. What we do, we're just getting, remember, getting lighter and lighter on these layers. Um, 
just apply that. A couple of passes if necessary to get that on there. Once you're done with the Carrick Stone, we're on to next layer. Tyrant Skull. It's a dry compound. Uh, same brush again. And just to start off, don't forget we're getting lighter and lighter here as we apply. I'm going to try and concentrate a bit more just on the raised crackle areas. Uh, try not to get a, even coverage on this. Try to, to concentrate the areas. Notice I'm doing circular motions to try and pick out all the edges. If you do like, I found if you do that straight over, it picks out a lined effect which looks man made. Final layer, Pad Witch Flesh. Very, very light dusting on this. If you go too heavy, you'll bleach it. And then literally I'm just concentrated on the raised areas. Tickling at its finest. And there you have it. All done and dusted. Very, very simple. And all we need to do is just line up a black to neaten all that up or whatever you would cut your base to. So folks, once you've got all the main area of your base done with the uh, parched earth, uh, don't forget at the top of the shop we said we put some stones on, some bits of slate, which you can see on the bottom of this dread base, got a few bonded in. What we've done, as soon as they were bonded, and as we uh, shaded the rest of the base, I also used Agrox Earth Shade just to cover those stones to darken them down. Straight into it, we're going to use Dawnstone. Dry brushing yet again. And literally what we're gonna do is we don't wanna go overkill, we just wanna work that in so we pick the edges out. And this is the reason why we want stones and clippings with a bit of character in them so that the edges pick. You can see it just pulls that stone colour through. Make sure you get the sides as well undersides once we've got the dawnstone on there next layer is administratum grey dry brush just remember as you dry brushing you want to get these layers lighter and lighter you don't want to bleach the colour possibly a couple of passes to bring those highlights out if necessary Next layer, getting a lighter, all of them grey. Same again, we're just going to get lighter and we're just picking the edges out. You need to take a couple of passes, do so. So there we have it folks, one parched earth base. Hope you agree. Looks pretty uh, effective. Uh, it does what it says on the tin. Very simple to apply. And hopefully if you've got uh, rank and file, you should be able to fly through those guys and base them up accordingly. We hope that you've enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial video. Uh, please do uh, leave a comment, hit like, subscribe for CQ Gaming. And uh, please do feel free to check out our back, back catalog put my teeth in again back catalogue of battle reps um, some interesting ninth edition ones there uh, obviously we're still in covid lockdown uh, situation in england so keep your eyes peeled as soon as things normalize we'll be back with more battle reps and also more how-to videos from myself and the rest of the cq team until next time happy painting enjoy over and out